Isla has uh, Pompe disease, which is a, a, a genetic disorder. It affects her muscles all over her body. <laughs> Patients with metabolic diseases such as Pompe are sometimes diagnosed before birth. And um, because they're missing a critical enzyme, some even develop symptoms before birth. There are FDA approved medications, basically the missing enzyme, that patients can take after birth. And we tested the idea of giving this medication before birth um, in mice. And um, when it worked very well, we were able to get permission from the FDA to conduct a clinical trial in 10 patients with similar metabolic conditions, including Pompe. Some of these conditions lead to the development of symptoms in multiple organ systems after birth. And in some cases, those symptoms are not reversible. So we're hoping that earlier treatment can result in better outcomes. So when the Canadian family was diagnosed, they wanted to participate in the clinical trial, but they weren't able to fly back and forth to San Francisco during COVID. So we shared the protocol with our colleagues in Canada, and they were able to get local approval to try this strategy. And we've been working together to take care of this family, and we're thrilled about the good outcome in this situation. When we were having Isla, we didn't know if she'd be able to walk. We didn't know if she'd be able to talk. We didn't know if she'd be able to eat. We didn't know if she'd be able to laugh, <laughs> right? So as she hit each of these milestones, we continue to kind of be amazed at her progress. She's a miracle. When we give the enzyme before birth, it can more easily get into the brain before the blood-brain barrier has closed. In this situation, we were able to clearly see that with the in utero therapy, this child did not develop any heart disease and now has a normal cardiac outcome, normal motor function, and normal developmental function. We learned from this family that it's possible to diagnose and treat a fetus with infantile Pompe before birth, and we're excited to continue this clinical trial to get information on similar conditions. Isla is uh, our little toddler toddling around. Um, she is, you know, getting into uh, everything at home, walking around all the time. She only time she rests is when she wants to eat or when she gets hurt. She needs a little bit of <laughs> soothing. Um, yeah, she's keeping us very busy. I'm really excited about this research because I feel like it represents a new chapter in fetal therapy one in which we can potentially uh, treat and potentially even cure later on uh, fetuses with many genetic diseases and that otherwise uh, would not be treated until after birth. We've seen three different sides of Pompeii now and we love what we're seeing right now. <laughs> uh, to be able to see her as our other two kids who are healthy and develop normally to be able to compare her to them and not her, unfortunately not Zara and Sara, is amazing. Um, she's just beautiful. <laughs>